Welcome, lovers of fine literature, to story time. Today we're going to be reading <coughs> Franklin the Frog's Gnarly Ride. <clears throat> As a general rule, frogs are not the most adventurous creatures. Now, lizards and mice tend to be open to new experiences. The average rabbit can best be described as an excitement machine, but frogs are very calm creatures. That's what made Franklin so very different from your average Polk County frog. No, that's not quite right. Franklin was an average frog until a skate park was built next to his pond. It was the skate park that changed everything. When the park opened, Franklin was no longer happy to just hang around the pond every day. Now every morning began with a quick swim, a few flies, and then a hop straight over to the skate park. Each day, Franklin watched camel flips, gazelle spins, and seatbelt grabs. He could just tell by the way someone popped an ollie whether they were good skateboarders or not. Franklin spent hours every day watching, learning, and dreaming that one day he too would miller flip down one of the ramps. Life wasn't too bad. Then Franklin met Daphne, and life got a whole lot better. Daphne showed up one day with a plain blue dime board. Nothing flashy, just a sweet ride. She arrived in the morning, sat down, watched the others skate for several hours, and then she left. Why bring a board if you weren't going to skate? Franklin had to wait another hour for this question to be answered. When the sun was directly overhead and the boys left to get some lunch, the girl came back. She walked slowly to the beginning of the course, checked briefly to make sure that no one was watching, stepped on her board and popped the sweetest Ollie Franklin had ever seen. Hello. Franklin hopped up to the highest section of the biggest ramp and watched as the girl worked her way through her first session. Unbelievable. Every flip, every twist, every turn was perfect. Watching the way she rode and how she was taking it easy and enjoying the ride. What he wouldn't give to... Wait a minute. He hopped. There was no one else around. He hopped again. Maybe she wouldn't even notice. And then Franklin hopped like mad. He hopped faster and faster until he'd, he'd never hopped before, trying to... Now look, do you want to know how this ends? Enough nonsense then. Franklin flattened himself in the grass and she walked towards him. What was he thinking? This would never work. She'd see him and then, being a girl, she'd probably scream and fling the board off into the grass, hoping to dislodge him. He sighed. Why couldn't he just be happy sitting by the pond like other frogs? He watched as she checked her trucks before setting the board down for her next ride. It's now or never, dude, he muttered to himself, taking a deep breath and jumping onto the board between the girl's feet. The girl took her back foot off the board to push off, saw the frog between her feet and jumped off the board. Franklin held his breath. This was it. Well, at least he'd taken a chance. The girl shook the board and Franklin held on tight. Ha, huh, said the girl, staring at the frog. Franklin the frog stared back. She frowned slightly and then with one hand pushed the board so that it rolled slightly forward. This is it, thought Franklin. This is my one and only chance. And with that, the frog jumped into the air, rolled twice and landed back on the board, giving the ground a big push off with his leg. He didn't get very far, but he turned around to face her as the board rolled to a stop. Other than raising her eyebrows, the girl just stared at the frog. Finally, she cleared her, th her throat and spoke softly. Have you ever ridden a board before? Franklin shook his head slowly. The girl's eyes grew wider. She checked briefly to make sure that they were still alone. Do you want to ride with me? The frog nodded vigorously. The girl shrugged, got back on the board again and pushed off gently. They weren't going very fast. She basically just cruised with the little frog between her feet. Franklin was shaking with frustration. Don't. This may be the only opportunity he would ever have to ride a skateboard and she was going easy on him. Well, forget that. Franklin dove forward, landed on his front legs and threw his back legs up in the air. 
The girl saw his trick, made a loud whooping noise and took off like a rocket for the double vertical walls. Franklin quickly went back to all fours and smiled as the wind buffeted his little face. Yes! The board sped up to the 90 degree vert and hung on the edge for a moment before plummeting back down and rolling towards the opposite ramp. That's more like it, thought Franklin as he stood up on his back legs. As they hurtled up to the next wall, the girl yelled, backspin, and the girl and the frog and the board rotated along the vertical wall. Awesome, thought Franklin, this is totally awesome. The board raced down the second wall and the girl steered towards the railing. Rail slide, she yelled, and the board leapt into the air and slid along the railing. The little frog could feel his tongue flapping against his cheek, but he didn't care. This was the best day of his life. <laughs> Oh, when they finished their session through the park, the girl stopped the board and sat down on the grass. Franklin joined her, out of breath and extremely happy. That was a sick ride, little dude, said the girl with a lopsided grin. Franklin nodded, frankly still trying to catch his breath. The girl turned her head when she heard the boys returning to the park. I got a bolt, she said, picking up her board. Franklin nodded. <sighs> no. He didn't nod. Yes, he nodded. Franklin nodded and looked up to her. He wished he could say thank you. He wished he could give her a hug and tell her how much the ride had meant to him. My name's Daphne, she said softly as she leaned over to pick up her board. I'll be here same time tomorrow if you want to go again. Franklin nodded and she smiled at him as she turned to leave. He was still nodding as she walked away. You. Bet I do, he said, and then took a hop back towards his pond. I'll be there. Well, that wasn't so bad. Join us again for the next episode when we'll read, well, something else. <laughs>